And, um, and the reason I wanted to talk to you is I've had a couple of customers um, uh, just give me a request on how to create custom invoices, and I'm not real technical, so I just wanted to uh, ask if you'd give me an overview on how to do that, just so I have a little better understanding. Yeah, sure. Um, I think the first question people ask when they want to customize standard time invoices is where they're located on the hard drive. Um, so this path right here is actually where you'll find them. And then in this folder, you're going to see a series of RTF documents that you can open up in Word. Um, those are the actual standard time uh, invoice templates. Um, you're also going to see a list of standard time reports. Uh, you can insert a report, a standard time report, into an invoice. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that. Actually, what I'm going to do is just open up one of these documents here so that you can see it in Word and um, see how they're edited. The first thing you encounter when you open up one of these documents is um, that they're arranged in a series of uh, text blocks and tables on the screen. You don't actually have to do that, but that's one of the ways to arrange these uh, in the document. Uh, actually, before you get started, you probably should go to the File menu and choose Save As, and that will let you save a copy of your customized invoice template so that you can always go back to the original if you want to. Oh, okay. Um, one of the things that you see in the um, invoice template are a series of tags. These special tags with square brackets around them are used by standard time to put data on the uh, in the document. And they can actually be located anywhere in this uh, RTF document. You know, this is a Word document, so you can move things around, put things where you want, resize, change the font, so on and so forth. And wherever you see those tags, you're inserting information into that invoice. That is correct, yep. Yeah. Okay. And one of the other things that people tend to do when they um, want to customize invoices is to put their logo. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just moving this little piece of text down. I can click on the insert, go to the picture uh, icon, and then double click on the uh, logo that I want to insert. Oh, okay. Just resize that, and you can see in this example you've got your logo and then the address right below that. Gotcha. Um, other things you can do if you don't want to see certain data, you can, um, you know, you can delete data like I just deleted that row. Um, you can delete a uh, column if you don't want to see certain data there. And you can just delete a tag if you want or whatever. Yes, exactly. So I've just deleted a couple of those. Uh, we don't actually publish a list of these tags, but you will find them all in the invoice templates uh, on your hard drive. So the last thing, all you have to do is just go to the file menu, choose save, and you're done. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, so basically, um, those tags are information inserted into the document from standard time. You can delete those tags or move them around or insert you know, uh, a picture or something, maybe a logo, and that's pretty much it. Yep, and then you save the document and you're done. Okay, sweet. Well, I, I appreciate that. That helps me understand it a lot better, so um, I'll be sure to uh, pass that along. Alrighty, that's it. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay.